Hey, what's up guys? It's a Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new Art Book Review. So today, we're going to be looking at another uh, illustrated press book, right? This time, it is The Life and Art of Meat Schaefer, right? So, um, those who are unaware of uh, who Meat Schaefer is, he is another student of Harvey Dunn, in the same vein as a uh, Dean Cornwell, right? Um, he was also... Uh, a big uh, a, lo a friend to uh, Norman Rockwell spent um, many years of his life um, living I think he was a neighbor for to Norman Rockwell for many years right and they they would you know meet up and um, discuss art and you know kind of um, help each other and critique each other and stuff like that right but <clears throat> yeah meet Schaefer um, really really great work you know, you could definitely see the uh, Harvey Dunn in his work. You can see this impasto uh, slabs of paint just, you know, onto the on the canvas. Um, his paint quality is really, really fantastic, uh, and it's cool to see. Like when when he first starts off, he kind of starts off very Harvey Dunn, um, and then he goes Dean Cornwell, and then he goes. Uh, like a little bit no more Norman Rockwell, right? And then he, it, it kind of, it all kind of just meshes together to create um, his his own, you know, kind of look, right? Um, he's a fantastic artist. I really, really enjoy his work, right? And uh, he is helping me round out my knowledge of a uh, of a uh, Harvey Dunn and you know the the Howard Pyle uh, lineage. Right. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm really excited to be looking at this book. Um, you know, the illustrated books are always the illustrated press books are always fantastic, right? And this is no different, right? Um, like yeah, I, I'm telling you, dude. Like his style, like the way he does colors, is just so striking, man. Right? He's kind of like a little bit mon monochromatic. You can see right here, you know, like a little bit of mon monochromatic, and then just like. <sighs> the splash of really heavy saturated color um <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to see this work uh yeah but before we get into this uh please hit that like button hit that subscribe it'll really help out the channel and uh you know with all that said uh let's just let's just jump into this bad boy so this book is about 45 bucks right and it's like six bucks for shipping um last time i looked online uh, this book had become um, more expensive, right? Because it's sold out. Um, oh my god, look at that. Already starting off very strong. Yeah, this is a good example of uh, what to expect from his work, right? This very strong, monochromatic uh, picture uh, with uh, some really nice, beautiful, you know, accents here and there. Yeah, just some fantastic stuff, man. Just some really, really nice artwork. There go. There is the man himself right there. Um, yeah, you know, there, there, there's text and stuff, but we're we're gonna, like always, just focus on the art. There we go. So this talks about, you know, how uh, Howard Pyle, you know, um, basically influenced an entire generation of artists with his artwork and his stories, right? Um, and, uh, you know, like like most artists, or, or, or like uh, many artists during that time, when Meet Schaefer was born, um, what do you call it? Uh... When he was, you know, going, growing up and getting older, um, Howard Pyle died, right? So, the, the thought of, uh, you know, really, uh, getting, getting taught by him, kind of just uh, went by the wind, right? And uh, oh, there you go, for me. Um, and so the next best thing would be uh, someone who was taught by Howard Pyle, and that someone was Harvey Dutton, right? 
Um, and Harvey Dunn, uh, his entire teaching process was basically just trying to repeat what um, what Howard Pyle was trying to do, right? Basically saying like he, he was a recreation of that school. He's trying to uh, tread the same path as Howard Pyle so that the students that he taught would uh, receive the same knowledge, right? Um, though he painted fairly differently. So um, you can see that how the the lineage of a teacher to student passes on, and that the knowledge continues to live, right? So yeah. Um, and by purchasing these books, I hope to uh, gain some of that knowledge, right? Because you know, obviously this guy uh, knows what he's doing, right? The people who learn <coughs> from Harvey Dunn, from Howard Pyle, um, they all became legendary students or, or legendary artists, right? Um, not all of them, but like, uh, you know, uh, a whole, like, like, you know, there's, there's whole classes that became like extremely successful illustrators. Um, so yeah, there, there's definitely powerful knowledge here, right? Um, here we go. So these are all, so meet Schaefer, right? I think he likes to do adventure books, right? <coughs> um, in a similar vein to Dean Cornwell, right? Except a little bit more focused, right? On uh, on adventures, on uh, I think uh, period like um, period pieces, right? Um, as you can see right here, he's he's doing an he's doing an illustration series based on uh, Moby Dick, right? Um, his work is really good, technically strong, but I don't really enjoy his uh, early work as much, right? It seems a little more um, generic, right? Uh, it, it's his later work, right, that becomes, that, that I feel like he becomes truly uh, his own artist, right? Uh, this stuff is good. It's it's no doubt, no doubt it's good, right? Really fantastic stuff. Um, but yeah, his later finish, I, I enjoy even more, right? <laughs> Wings for the Wings of Morning, right? Yeah, some more adventure novels, right? This one I think is set in like Panama, and uh, they're getting attacked by pirates or some shit, right? You can see that he has, um, he's absorbed that like impasto uh, feel, right? For like the background and shit, right? You could you could really see it. <clears throat> See, the thing is, um, during during this uh, segment where they're talking about uh, his life and shit, um, you're gonna see a, like wildly different styles, right? So you can see here, like, you see this style, right? Way, way, way different than something like this, right? This is this is more the stuff that I like, right? Um, but that's just because you know they're they're moving forward in time, right? So um, we're basically, uh, when we reach the illustration only segments, we're gonna we're gonna go um, we're gonna switch from one to the other, right? So we're so if it feels it feels like a leap back. It's it's because it literally is, right? Okay. Is this is this the illustration only segment? No, no, okay. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah. This is just like a breath of his work, but you can see uh, his steady, steady improvement. Really good stuff. This is for Les Les Miserables. Les Les, les Miser. Oh my God. Les Miserables. Les Miserables. <laughs> but yeah, you can see um, he's a really big fan of uh, you know having that those uh, those those old period costumes, right? Uh, really making that thing feel authentic, right? Really, really, really nice stuff, man. <laughs> Look at this. See, his composition starts to get more interesting as well. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my 
god, I love that that paint quality. Just so confident, dude. Right. Yeah. I hope to I hope to get this um this confident later in my painting career, hopefully. Like I said, more more of the, the life stuff. Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. So he painted. Um, he did an illustration for the Count of Mon Monte Cristo, right? So you can see right here. There's there's kind of a theme going on, right? That he he likes to do book illustration. He likes to do like you know these um, these classic tales, but illustrate them, right? Uh, in a similar way of Howard Pyle. You know what I mean? But yeah, look at this. Look at this illustration, man. It's got so much to it. It's got all this. It's got all these beautiful textures. It's like a weird pattern. It, it feels, it feels like um, larger than life, you know. But uh, fantastic, man. Really, really nice stuff, right? Um, this is one of my favorite illustrations, right? The the front cover right here. Okay, um, this is the Count of Monte Cristo himself. Right. Um, and he just has this, like, like you could feel him. Like he feels gigantic. Does he not? You know what I mean? Um, so apparently, like his proportions, right, are are actually longer than normal, right? But um, I love this just l this black uh, mass right here. You know, it really creates this like impending feeling. From him, you know, like he's he he is not only giant, but like his presence is giant. He is a shadow, right? Um, you know, covering this entire canvas, dude. You know, using that tri triangular composition. You know, really, really nice. Yeah. Um, and if you know the Count of Monte Cristo, uh, you know that he needs to have that. Um, like he, like he's a man of culture. But he's also a powerful man, you know? He's seen things, he's dangerous, you know what I mean? And like, this definitely captures that, right? And I love the, the, the paint quality, I love the feel of it. Really nice stuff there. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you guys hear like some weird noise? That's probably um, the wind, right? The wind is going crazy right now. Hold on, let me, let me, um, let me take a look and see, uh, how far before we start getting to the illustration only section. Yeah, it's still, it's still a while, so let's, let's just, um, take a look at what we have right here. Maybe I should go back. Um, eh, fuck it, whatever. You know what? Yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just continue forward. <clears throat> So this is more illustrations for the Count of Monte Cristo, right? I'm like, I'm telling you, man. Look at this. This is fantastic stuff right here. Okay, like, I don't know. It's just like that. The way he lays down these strokes are just so nice, right? Really impasto, really, really thick paint. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and and then when it goes next to this really thin paint, it looks really fantastic. You know. Um, details are kind of like, you know, going back and forth, you know, that's just, that's just the thing that you get with paint that you don't get with other mediums. There's, there's this level of depth, right, that you, you can feel. Yeah. Really, really like these. Um, another Monte Cristo one. Yeah. Same thing. Um, like I said, feeling very, uh, Dean Cornwell, right? But uh, not not exactly, right? Not exactly. The way he treats color, um, it's not exactly the same. I know I know that um, Meet Schaefer learned a lot from Dean Cornwell because he was he also basically kind of taught him as well. So uh, you could definitely see his influence. <laughs> see, this one's a little bit uh, simpler, right? Just focusing on. 
on um, shapes, right? But uh, still really, really good. Still, it's it's a little bit loose, right? But it still looks fantastic, man. You know. Again, with that kind of thin wash, right? But but against the thick uh, slabs of paint, looks really, really nice. Oh, here's him, uh, posing a guy for reference. Nice. Go. So this is... Let's see. Book illustration for Everybody's Washington. Okay. See, we have a Native American here, right, with a, with a rifle. Um, he... I was gonna say it looks like he's part of the the, the fur trade, right? You know, like in Canada. Um, but um, you know, in Canada, you need what you need to have way more, you know, wear, right? So, I'm assuming this is like American, right? Yeah, Native American, not a Native Canad Canadian, right? Yeah. Oh, so you can see a reference photo with uh, Mead Schaefer in, and you can see right here. Mead Schaefer with uh, Norman Rockwell, okay, and they're on a trip. January 1955, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Only, uh, I want to say 50 years, but it's, it's now uh, 70 years. Yeah, 70 years ago, two of the biggest fucking art legends, dude, just hanging out. You know what I mean? Oh, here's a better photo with Mead and, uh, and Norman. Yeah. And you can see, you can see by Norman Rockwell style, it's um, much more focused on realism, right? Um, but it's it's fantastic stuff, you know. Like Norman Rockwell, you know, like people know him. You know what I mean? This is this is a meat shaper right here. Yeah, you can see how they influence. You can see how they influence each other in their art career. Uh, more so Norman to to me than the other way around. You know, um, Norman. I think he might have changed his uh, the way he approaches color and composition. But uh, besides that, not really that much. There we go. Look at this, man. This is so badass, dude. Yeah, so you could see that he could really do super tight stuff, and he could do uh, more loose things, right? So yeah, it's it's cool to see that you know dichotomy of uh, you know where he wants to leave his finish. Right? Look at this one, fantastic! I love seeing war illustrations because. Uh, I don't know, it just feels so grandiose, you know? Because it's, it's never just one image. It's like a whole... a whole line of images. There we go. Um, was this done by Meet Let's see. Yeah, yeah, these were done by him. Okay. Yeah, you can see right here that this is a this is the finished version, and then this is a um, a color study right there. Yeah. Really, really nice stuff, man. Oh, you can see uh, San Francisco right here, sitting by the dock on the bay, watching the tides roll away. Oh, there's a little, uh, there's a Chinese man. And a little Chinese kid. Nice. But yeah, you can see when he started out, he was, um, I would say more in line with, uh, <coughs> Howard Pyle, right? Though he didn't learn from him, he was probably, he was obviously, uh, influenced by, uh, his work, right? Nineteen forty five, wait a minute. This is this is later. 
Is this later in his career? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay. It is it is later, so <clears throat> I guess he just uh, adjusts his style, you know, depending on uh what he's making, right? Yeah, you can see this one's a little bit more like Norman. Right. Dead Men's Diary. The an the Antarctic crash victims tell their story. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Look at that. Look at the sass of that. Look at look at look at the way he's walking, dude. All right, that's a cowboy stance, right? And he's got this saddle right here. He's got this plane. That's fucking badass, dude. All right, we got this man uh, working on his. Uh, let's see, it's like it's like a it's like a portable um, little workshop right here. This guy going on, or or no no, he's cooking. Yeah yeah, he's cooking. Portable little cook spot, right, with the cowboys in the background, just really, really good American iconog iconography. There you go. Um, let's see. Oh, they have, no, they actually have color photos of the guy. That's really cool. In Bermuda, is that where he, uh, he was eventually lost. I don't know when he died. He died pretty. Uh, this one, not the biggest fan of that. Not the biggest fan. This one, he's he's rocking the shape. He's rocking the uh, the uh, Norman Rockwell haircut. But yeah, you can see that, like, this guy, he really, um, he changes up how he works, right? Um, he doesn't really have a set style, uh, but his work is fantastic either way. You know, the quality of it is just so good, you can't really, you can't really fault him, right? Um, though he does kind of wear his influences on his, uh, sleeves, right? Yeah, look at this stuff, man, just fantastic. Look at that, for the black bu buccaneer. Look at this. Look at this swashbuckling. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god, look at the, the style. Really, really nice stuff, man. Look at the composition for this. You know, like, uh, first we see this guy, but he points his gun, he's looking at this guy right here. So the focal point, um, becomes the uh, this pirate, right? But we obviously start with this guy, right? Really, really cool stuff. Let's see. Is this the... Yep, okay. I think we're starting to get to the illustrations section. So, are these done in oil? Yeah, you can see right here that his hands and faces are still kind of, still kind of getting worked out. It's still a little bit more mushy feeling, right? Um, but then, you know, that's just gonna go away real soon. Are these done in charcoal? I think they just might be, um, black and white oil. Wait, this one's really good. This one I really like. Let's see. Illustration for the Golden Boys. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Are they are they on a river? Yeah, they are on a river. Yeah, you know, just imagine seeing this as like a kid. You know what I mean? in like a little magazine, <clears throat> um, you'd see this and you'd be like, wow, dude, like what kind of grand adventures are these guys having? You know what I mean? Like, of course the book is there and it's, it's cool to, you know, spur on the imagination, but having a beautiful painting to give you like 
um, a real idea of what things look like can shape the entire way you perceive the book, right? So yeah, it's, it's you know, and I would say that uh, having that is much better, right? Because it gives you a little a spot to, to start learning from, to, to start, uh, you know, going from. Let's see. Um, this one looks really blurry. I, I would chalk that up to having um, a bad photo, right? This is not the best photo for this, right? See, like this, this is much more, has the same quality. Um, but, uh, the quality of the picture is the, is different, right? The, the paint quality is the same, but the, uh, picture quality is not, right? So I would say that this is blurry simply because of the, uh, picture. <coughs> no. Editorial illustration for women's home campaign. Okay. See, look at that. I love this composition. You know, the, the trifecta right here. I like that this guy's in shadow, right? Really creating that powerful silhouette, you know? And they he uses the shadows to, like, link to each other so that they... So that each, um... Each shape moves into the other. And so that, like, you can see the, the balance between the light and the dark, right? Um, leading your eye around. Right? It's really, really cool. Um, I assume that he would do these compositions uh, first in like a little black and white thumbnail, right? Just to see the shadow shapes and the light shapes, right? Because if you, if you close your eyes, or, or sorry, if you squint, you could see how he's plotting out the shadows and the lights, right? Um, and it really leads, it, it really leads to a really cool um, composition. An effect, right? Using really using that cast shadow to lead your eye around. Yeah. Herman Neville Melville. Yeah. Oh, these are these are the guys who. Uh, I guess ended up shipwrecked on, in Panama. Okay. I love this lake. Look at this. Look at the the abstractions in the lake right here. That's just that's really nice. I don't know if I, if I'm the biggest fan of like you see the hills right here with the the trees that are like kind of like a stippling like you know down 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 down. down. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Um, like I said, his early work, I'm not the biggest fan of, right? Though I do acknowledge that it's really good. Um, it's his later work that I really, really enjoy. Right? You can see right here that he's definitely being, he's definitely taking his uh, knowledge from Harvey Dunn and applying it. This one's not, eh, eh. See, the thing is, I don't know if it's the quality of the, I don't know if it's the uh, picture or the painting itself is just like, like look at that face. There's like, there's no shadow distinction. Um, but yeah, it could just be the photo is bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, this one looks really nice. Got this uh, Native American. Right? Or Incan. This looks Incan. I don't know. But yeah, he's just sitting here with his, uh, with his spear, you know, contemplating. King Arthur and his knights. Okay, so um, he did some illustrations for this as well. See, this stuff is really nice. Um, it's not his later stuff, but I, I enjoy it. it um, it, it, the, the style that he's doing right here really works with, uh, medieval, you know? Like, I don't know, it, I just feel, I feel like it feels better with these props. It feels like, like, oh, these are medieval paintings, you know, but even though medieval paintings suck ass, right, in, in reality. Look at that 
really, really nice stuff. Yeah. This, um... The way his paint works, it really gives, like, this kind of, like... In th at least in this picture, this kind of, like, dreamlike quality, right? Like, because these, these people are, like, glowing, right? Um... Maybe it's because there's no, like, really hard to find shadows right here, but it really kind of gives this kind of dreamlike quality to the work. You know, like, everything's kind of glowing, there's, there's all this impasto white, right? But there's no, there's no text on the pages. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, this is during the time where, um, for illustration, they, they were able to do black, white, and then one color, right? So, um, in this case, it was black, white, and red, you know, which is fantastic color combo. Really, really nice. Because then you get to have the, the skin tone, and you get to have the, uh, the, uh, you know, accents of red. Book illustration for Umu. Uh, Omu. Omu. Umu? Omu. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, like, um, you know, as he is a student of, uh, of Harvey Dunn, uh, he's gonna be using a lot of white, right? A bunch of white. And, uh, yeah. You can see right here, right here, right here. You know, a lot of his compositions are just, you know, white. Just a bunch of white, right? Um, and that's, that's, you know, for an oil painter, that's kind of wild. You know what I mean? I guess it's not that wild, but, um... Like, um... White has a lot of, uh... What is it called? Chalk in it. <clears throat> so, it's, it's very easy to... Um... Have that chalkiness in the rest of your painting, which can really bring it back, right? But... Uh, I'm assuming that he he already knows about the chalkiness, so he doesn't try to have it everywhere, right? He just has it applied to the certain spots, right? Because you can see those those darks are are very pure, right? Yeah. This guy in the front, he looks like the the Bee Gees singer. You know, the guy, the guy, uh, in the front? Yeah, he looks like the, the singer from the Bee Gees. Oh, this looks like, uh, the old man in the sea, right? Um, but I guess it's still for, uh, Omu. Omu? 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 Oh! See, now this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is the paint quality that I like right here. Okay, just that... Oh my goodness. Now this is Meet Schaefer style right here, okay? This is like... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Just some fantastic paintwork, man. Look at and look, like look at his darks and his lights. The powerful, the striking, you know, and 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 just oh my god, the looseness of his strokes. They're not perfect, you know. His faces are well rendered, but they're not like you know, they're they're not too focused on, right? And the clothing, you know, the folds, the way he lays. Like look at the fur. On this dog, like look how he lays it out. You know, is wow, wow. You can see the full illustration right here with the with a man now, and she's just like, you know, like don't talk to me. Oh my goodness! Wow. Now that's some good stuff, bro. That's what I'm talking about. What is this? When you do this? 1926? Okay. 
The cruise of the catch a lot. Okay. Oh, catch a lot. Okay. You, dude. His style, it, it just changes depending on the illustration. Oh, the wind's kicking up again. Mm. Oh, they're like fighting each other and they're like trying to stop each other from fighting. Wow, look at this, man. This is some really, really nice stuff. <clears throat> like, it feels... Like a... Like it's part of the page, you know what I mean? Like, I can imagine having, like, an old book, you know, with that kind of, like, yellowish paint, um, yellowish paper, right? And then you have this on it. It just feels like, like, I don't know, like, the page is coming to life. Like, whoa, dude, you know? Like, it's, like, in the story. You know what I mean? Like, there's a filter over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, you can really see, like, the different artists fighting within him. You know what I mean? Because, like, if you look at these three pictures right here, um, I would argue that, like, you, you wouldn't think it's the same artist, right? Because, like, this one is, like, uh, very, like, Howard Pyle. This one is very Dean Cornwell. This one is, uh, is more Harvey Dunn, right? You can see that the three styles fighting within him for dominance, right? Um, but they're all fantastic, man. They're all really, really nice. I love the way he applies that, like, thick white, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, wow. Wow. I don't, like, I love how I'm, like, I'm, like, look at the beautiful imagery, right? And, like, not even really paying attention to, like, what's actually happening. Like, this guy's getting his fucking, he's getting lashed. Wow! Damn. Book illustration for Tom Kringle Log. Okay. Oh, he's setting up for a duel. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Facing down a man, and then you're like, wow, the trees look really nice behind him. Gah! Done, dude. I just love that impasto feel for the for the the flowers, you know. You know, like I said, very dreamlike quality to it. You can see right here, um Wow, look at that. You know, the stone, right? This looks like a Spanish, um, you know, like, group of monks, right? This man's on his passage, right? Looking for God. Wow. Man, here we go. See, what I, I, what I really like about Dean Cornwell's work is the monochromatic stuff, dude. It, it just has this quality to it that you just don't see in other art. Even, like, Dean Cornwell, even in, like, Norman Rockwell, you know, all those other artists that 
that you know he was inspired by um when it comes to the monochromatic stuff i would say that that is his own work right that is purely his and no one could take that away from him you know what i mean just look at that composition and the that line of heads right um man look at that and these are like lower quality photos too so I can't imagine what it looks like if you had like a really, really nice photo of it, right? Look at that. Look at this green, you know, that he's using. You know? Really, really nice stuff, dude. That beautiful accent. cross right here that's really nice look at that that guy with i love this guy's pose with that backpack really really nice stuff oh yeah and we got a uh, this one's a very low quality photo you can see right here he's doing like the dean cornwell right with the um partial composition right where um, chunks are missing, right, but you can still see, uh, a lot of what's going on, right? You got this, look at that smoke, that's some fantastic smoke, dude. Right. And you have, uh, some natives right here, some native women, right, and a, and a white woman, right? Don't really know what's going on story-wise, but, uh, yeah, looks really good. Ooh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. Um, is this, uh... This looks Mexican. Not so sure. And then we have some, uh... Yeah, I'm telling you, it, it's that monochromatic, that black, white, and red. You know, just a really, really fantastic combo, you know? And then right here we have, um... Oh, we have a marriage! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it's a marriage between, uh, a Native American, right? And then, uh, a fur trader, right? Because they, they have that fur trader outfit, so that's what that reminds me of. Not, not so sure, though. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We got Abraham Lincoln, dude. Look at this. Bro, I'm telling you, dude. This black, white, and then this... Look at this green. This super saturated green. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's just... Bro. You got old Abe right here. Oh, my God. To con... Like... Oh. Dude. Like, like that mint green? Who would be like, oh, dude. This... Like, who would be like, oh... This mint green, that's gonna be my main color, dude. Okay? And, but it just works, man. It just really works. Really fantastic stuff. His monochromatic work is just fantastic, bro. Yeah. You can see even, like, okay, this is a low-quality photo, but even through that, you can see how his uh, use of uh, that light and shadow pattern, right? Just... Really, really effective, man. Really, really effective. And he, I like how he has the whites that kind of blend in to each other. So you kind of lose some of that. But, um, yeah, if you squint, you can see how strong the composition is. Right? You can see the silhouettes of all the figures, right? And, oh my god. Just really, really strong painting, dude. Alright, similar right here. You know, like, I love these little snippets. You know what I mean? Um, so you don't have to paint the entire painting, right? But yeah, like, oh, man. <clears throat> the one I wanted to get to was this one, right here. This kind of, like, bluish-gray, you know, with that, with that white light. It's, wow. It's just so striking, man. Oh, my goodness. And you see the, you see the, uh, the father right here, you know? Um, what's this? For good housekeeping. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't think that this was part of a good housekeeping right here. Jesus. You know, Jesus. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Look 
Look at those fat brushstrokes. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care, dude. Blah. I don't give a shit, dude. That's called confidence, dude. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. This is like one of my favorite pictures right here. Yeah. You can really lose yourself in a picture like this. <clears throat> and as you can see, as things as things go back, you know, you can see that, like, things become more and more abstracted and abstracted, right? But, um, you can still kind of see everything, right? Wow. Really, really nice stuff right there. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Some more. Um, like I said, I, I really like that green, you know? I really like that green. And it's like, um, i guessing the, the guys in Panama again, right? Yeah. Um, do they get captured or are these two different? Yeah, these, I think these are two different groups of guys, I don't know. Because th these guys are wearing the Panama gear, right? The uh, civilization gear. These guys are more tribal, right? But maybe, maybe they're working together, I don't know. But these guys are in cuffs, so maybe this is a maybe this is a different group entirely. I don't know. Right? Or maybe they're helping each other out. But yeah, dude, look at that. So cool, man. Oh my god. Look at the way he does this guy's back muscles. Wow. Just some fantastic stuff, dude. Okay. Yeah, these pages are thick. You know, like way, way thicker than a, than a bowl of oatmeal. Than, um, what do you call it? Than normal pages. So every time I think it's like two pages, but it's actually not. I want to get to this one. Yeah, these ones are they're they're all right. They're just more of this usual stuff, right? But here we go. We see this like, um, this one is obviously like a, a base in the Orient, right? You know. Uh, but you can see that like um, he has those three. He has you know these three really strong colors, right? Uh, with the with the blue and the red and the white, you know. Um, I guess it's just blue and red, right, to contrast each other, but, like, that, that contrast is just so beautiful in this monochromatic picture, you know, I guess it's not, this is, like, dichromatic or bichromatic, right, but fucking, god damn, looks so good, so nice, wow, mixed with that, like, you know, that Asian aesthetic, just really, really, really fantastic stuff. Oh, man, look at this. Oh! Whoa. Look at this, bro. Like, can you imagine seeing this? Like, let's see, how big is this? 40 by 21. So this is big. This is a big guy, right? Seeing this in real life, right? And it's, like, like slightly above you, and you're like, whoa, dude, right? If you... This, this is, like, uh, you know, it goes back to... Uh, like the Renaissance, right, and before then, like religious painting, right, was meant to teach those who could not read, right, those who were illiterate about God, right. And you saw like a painting like this, right, you'd be like, and, and, and it's like it's huge, you know. You'd be like, F fuck, dude, this this shit was made by the hand of God, dude, right? You know, but uh, it was merely uh, the divine working through uh, man. Right, to create his imagery. Right, just really, really fantastic stuff. Dude. Jesus Christ. I love that composition. I love this, this, how striking the wings are. You know? Um, damn, dude. And we, we, as the audience, are like, we're, we're, we're this girl right here. And we're like, whoa, dude, shit. Fucking, uh, 
Gabriel coming down here, you know? Look at that. Look at the silhouette. It's just so strong. You could see, like, no matter what, you could see him, but you could see the wings. You know what I mean? You know, but, but they're, like, if you squint, you can see that they're, um, they're separated. You know what I mean? In terms of, uh, col coloration, right? Um, but because of the, the, the silhouette of the guy, you could easily see him, very easily place him, you know? So yeah, this just some really strong shape language right here, man. You know? Oh my goodness. Right, it all centers on his face. Really, really nice. You get this kind of like cool pattern in the background as well. Wow. Wow. And then right here we got a... Uh... I guess this is some more biblical stuff right here. You can see Mary right here. I love how they like they have like these realistic figures, and then you have Mary looking, looking like straight out of the painting, like a, like a medieval painting. Oh, this is cool. This is like this is a picture that's mostly in shadow, right? And then um, you kind of see the light peeking in through here, right? just, just very, very subtly peeking through. You can obviously see the Dean Cornwell inspiration for a lot of these uh, paintings. Yeah. Is, is, are these a three wise men? I don't know. This woman coming here on her on her donkey. Yeah. But yeah, look at these colors, man. Um, these colors that you would think would never work, right? You got this like really, really bright red, and this super dark, cool green, right? And then there's like this kind of like a lizard and crimson right here, um, and then there's this pink right here. And you're like, these these colors look wild, dude. Like they're they're all over the place, you know. And you think they wouldn't work, but they totally do. They totally do. You know, like who would think of a color combination like this, right? Like you're a madman, dude. You know, I guess it's not that crazy since it's just kind of like green versus red, right? But the way it's applied, you're just thinking that it wouldn't work, but it totally does. Totally does. Alright, so we got... Let's see. You know, I really... I really like the way he, um, he does these shadows that are very, very, like, um watery right very thin um and what do you call it so so it's like so in the shadow um there's all these these little you know patterns and stuff right just to represent what's actually happening right um and he does it very loosely but uh he is still that he's still trying to incorporate <coughs> a lot of color into the shadow right while keeping it um, very like obscured, right, so that um, you, you can see in these shadow shapes right here, right, there there's nothing really like kind of rendered out, right. Everything is just you know uh, in the shadow, kind of just uh, there to um, help guide the viewer to to the focal point, which is right here, right. What is this for? The three musketeers? Yep. See, really really nice. Um, see oh my god i love the finish man see see how like in the shadow right here um it's kind of like things are just starting to get obscured right he starts putting other colors in there um it's nice to see that he likes to experiment a lot right because um you know for for you know how good um norman rockwell was right for all his like you know doing like he even said himself that um he regrets not experimenting enough, right? Um, that being said, you know, his work is, you know, fantastic, right? He's a fan- he's, like, you know, one of the best painters of all time, right? Um, however, um, like I said, he doesn't really like to 
experiment a lot, a lot. You know, like he doesn't try to like have a new look or try different things, right? You can see right here that Meet Schaefer, um, he's trying new stuff out like almost every every piece, right? Even in the same series, he'll he'll play around, right? And that's uh, that's commendable, right? That's it. like as an artist, I I respect that, you know. Um, yeah, and it's it's nice to see that he's trying to evolve things. You know, he's not, he's trying to keep it fresh, right? <clears throat> Here we go. As you can see, look, look, these are from the th same series, but the paintings are wildly different, right? Yeah, really, really cool. Um. I love this, like, you know, the three, you know, coming out, right? The swords coming out, right? The three faces. That's really nice. That's a nice bit of detail right there. Yeah, this composition is really nice, too. I like this. I like these shapes, you know? He really, the, the, three, the three really dominate this composition, right? Taking up, like, the entire fucking space, right? Alright, here we go. So we got, uh... Again, really nice, really love that, like, dark wash that he puts over everything. You know what, dude? Um... I might start trying to incorporate that, you know? Because, uh... Like, these cool shadow shapes, man, it really, really helps compose the image. You know what I mean? Right, look, oh, dude, look at this table. Dude, look how, like, loose it is. Like, <laughs> you know? Bro. Dude, that's sick. I really like that. And it's, like, it's like slightly reflective, you know? So he's got these little, uh, you know? Bro. <laughs> yeah, at first, I thought this was a uh, partial composition, but clearly not. Again, I really like how he he does this kind of like um, red and green combo, right? That's a uh, like look how strong that red is, you know? And it's kind of like it kind of like permeates right outside. That's really nice. Man, I just love this finish, dude. Look at that. Look at this, like, just this. Look at this one spot right here. You know, it just looks like three dabs. Just whoop, 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 done. Okay, whoop, done. Right. Wow. Right here too. Look. Done. Wow. Just some really, really. Really nice lighting right there. Yeah, look, like, look at these styles, man. Look, they, like, the this style is so different than like here, you know, and versus like this one, right? Wow, so cool, man. This one feels like a storybook, you know? It, it, this one actually feels like a storybook illustration. Like, uh, maybe it's the outline, you know, that's present. Um, or something. It's just, but it, it really makes it feel like, like, oh yeah, dude, this is, this is part of a book. You know, like, I, I said that earlier about a different piece, but, uh, you know. I don't know, something about those lines really, really make it feel like, a. Like, you're, you're opening up, you know, like, a, an old book, you know, with, like, these, uh... Well, I guess they would be old right now, you know? So, yeah. Perfect, dude. Really, really nice. Let's see. Look at that. Look at... Look at the, um... The motion, right? The flow of these figures. You know, they, they, they flow together. You know what I mean? And then, um, there's also... You see right here, this cut composition right here right 
just like like I said, it just it just flows right, and then this this reinforces that right, and the trees, boom, dude, reinforce. See this little crack right here? Reinforce, dude, right? So you could feel like the movement, right? You can see like right here on the dress, there's like a little bit of movement right here on this fabric, that movement. And this guy, I love his pose, just you know, like look, look at the way he's sticking out his leg, you know, just ooh, right. That's some uh, golden wind shit right there, dude. You know what I mean? Look, look at the crowd. Look how abstracted they are. I really, really enjoy that. Yeah. I, don't know, I just really like this, like, like this, you know, kind of like dichromatic, you know, bichromatic. I don't know, whatever this, is, whatever this is considered. Right? Um, that look, you know, where it's just like very, very. Um, a lot less colors, right? Kind of like a muted with the with the powerful accent, right? Really, really nice. Yeah, I'm a guy who likes to do like you know full color, high saturation, right? So it's cool to see um, something that's uh, more controlled, right? Look at these. These are these are really nice. Like I said, the outline really helps create like this storybook illustration look. For a red book. Okay. 22 by 50. Oh, that's a long boy. That's a long boy. There we go. Oh man, when you get up close, you can see the details. That paint quality is just so gorgeous, man. Bro. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow. These are really nice. And I love that kind of like green overtone on everything. You know, that like everything is a little bit cool, right? To give it that night lighting, right? Beautiful. Let's see. This guy looks like he, uh, like he just got slugged, you know? And he just, he just finished, uh, Fighting a guy, right? Now he's like, he's on the wall recovering, right? Like he's just like, Ugh! you know, and he's just like, Ugh! right? Um, very, um, you know, uh, stranger in a strange land, right? You know, he's, he's, see, b because of the, uh, the mural in the background, we're like, oh, he's in a foreign land, right? But, uh, really cool. I love the way he treated this fold right here. So if you look closely, it just looks like two slabs of paint, right? But if you squint, it, it the fold comes in, right? That's just that's really good stuff, bro. Really nice. Um, this one has that like kind of medieval feel, right? Um, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, right? It could just be, um, the picture quality, once again, right? Because, um, sometimes when you take a bad picture, uh, the, the, the greatness of the illustration is dampered, right? Oh my goodness. Laura, Laura, Laura Dawn, Laura Dune. Laura Doom. That sounds better. Look at that elegant dress, dude. Look at those slabs of white. Look at that. Oh my god, I love... Dude, this and, um... The Count of Monte Cristo, dude. I just love that, like, that red curtain. You know? Versus, like, like they, they almost feel like, uh, statues. You know? Like, living statues. Like, there's no warmth to that skin at all, right? It's all just in the cheeks, in the lipstick, right? They feel very, um, uh, monolithic, right? Huge, right? Like, these, like, I don't know, but, like, like the, the way they dominate the composition, like, 
it makes you feel like they're they're larger than life figures, you know. Um, like Michelangelo used to do that, right? What, like you could see his figures, right? They're all like ultra thick, you know, like super, like they're massive, dude. Like the women and the men, massive, dude. Okay, larger than life, dude. Yeah, this doesn't have that like proportional change, but like the composition and like the way they're rendered gives it gives that feel. You know, really like that. Um. Not so much of a fan of this one, right? But I, I like the props and stuff. Uh, again, it has that kind of storybook feel, right? But um, I don't know. Something about the perspective bothers me. I don't know. Yeah, not not so big of a fan of this one, right? Maybe because there's like I don't know. No, yeah, I just whatever. It's not it's like it's not my favorite. Sometimes that happens, right? Oh, dude, this one's fucking cool. Look at that. Let's see, Lord Dorn. Right, he's hiding in the crack, dude. Uh, enemies are coming in, right? Um, but he, ha he has to hope that this cover is enough, dude, to keep him hidden. Right, I love that. I love how sharp that is. <sighs> you know? Um, the first thing you see in this composition is the, is the opening, right? And then you... You obviously, you know, you follow this line, and then it leads to our character, right? Really nice stuff, dude. It's got this nice orange and the blue and the rocks right here. Very nice. <clears throat> this one looks really good, too. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's green, dude. He, I think he... I think he might be dead. I think he might be uh, gone now. What little warmth was there is uh, now gone. Yeah, see this one? Not really a big fan of. I don't know, it's just. Um, I feel like sometimes when he renders women, uh, they become like very. Uh, like. Pro I don't know, maybe proportionally, I don't know. Maybe her neck is too long or her head's too small. I'm not sure. Right, because he, like, right here, like, the woman is fantastic, you know? Maybe he's not using a model. Like, see right here? Like, this girl. And then this girl, right? Like, I I feel like I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to give that medieval feel, right? But, um, I don't know, maybe the nose is too long? Something about their faces, it bothers me, you know? Yeah, like the guy, he's fine. He's 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 good, you know. Yeah. Um, it might be a case of uh, he likes to draw men more than women, right? Yeah. I mean that that that's that's just an artist thing that happens all the time. Right? Male or female artists, they uh, you tend to draw one or more. you t you tend to draw one or the other more, right? And uh, usually the the other will suffer as a result. Yeah. Is this Cain and Abel? No. Okay, Lord Dorn again. Is this the guy who got choked out? No, he's got red hair, so he must be this guy. Right, look at this, like... Bro, look at how big his back is, dude. It's ridiculous. And, like, the power... Like, like, I love how it's, like, cool right here, but then, like, the heat goes into the arms because they're, like, they're, they're alive. Ah! You know, as he... As he chokes this guy out, dude. Oh, is this like him like trying to throw a punch, but like, you know, like he's like, I don't know where to aim, dude. Right? It's really cool. And I, I like these uh this kind of like foliage as the uh as the um, compositional element or or what do you call it? As a way to create a, a foreground element that leads into the characters, right? Beautiful stuff. Oh! Now this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is this is the stuff I like. This is the meat shaper I want to see, okay? Very painterly, um, focusing on those, you know, those, those little bit of colors that he uses, right? That, see right here, you can see the blue, the red, white, the white. 
you know that's a, that's American baby you know what I mean that's 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 what it's all about dude oh you know it's funny because like there's a lot of flags that use red white and blue but all, but like I feel like when you say red white and blue it is specifically referring to America you know like France has a red white and blue uh, British has red white and blue right um, do they say when they say red white and blue do they think of about their nations you know is that a thing right or, or or is it like they just change the order like blue blue red and white you know right or uh, or a uh, white blue and red you know like do they just say it differently Look at the, and let's let's look at the detail. You know, I love how I love that they they have this page, the full, and then they have the detail right here. Because um, you can see right here that like this paint quality is just gorgeous, man. Just look at the oh my god, dude! What 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 beautiful. Gorgeous, dude. Gorgeous stuff, man. Fuck. Bro. Teach me the ways, dude. I like this kind of, like, blue glow right here. That, that's on the, the babushka's uh, apron right here. You know, and I like the, the red glow on her uh, on her mask. Or, or her, not mask, her... Uh, her uh, what is it called? Her do rag, you know. It's not it's obviously not a do rag, but uh, I'm just call it a do rag. See, this is way better, you know. The like, look at this woman's face, and then like this shit, right? This and um and this, right? Like, these are two different artists, you know. This person, uh, not really a big uh. Not really big on faces, dude. This person knows how to draw the face, right? So I'm assuming, I'm assuming when he did this, it was a stylistic choice, right? Okay. Just uh, give me a second. My uh, my kitty's calling. All right, we've hit the uh, the midpoint, right? You can see the the binding right here. Nice. Look at that, dude. I'm telling you, dude, this, um... This, uh, monotone with the... with the colored, uh, accent. Just dynamite, dude. Just, mmm. You know? Wow. Look at that. Wow, I love this glove, how it's, like, kind of slightly off. I'm just, you know, beautiful pose. See, he knows how to do women. Come on. This is way better. Yeah, this is not the best example. But, uh, these are gorgeous. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, sometimes he has reference, sometimes he doesn't. Right. Oh. Editorial for Ladies Home Journal. Okay. So has this, did this guy like fight in the war or some shit? Right? And then like these guys are like, like, oh shit dude, he fought the war or he got fucked up, I don't know. Not really sure what's going on here, but uh I really like the um Like the the composition, like the figure, and then like in his shadow is like, you know, maybe this is like in the past. I don't know. Like he got beat up or some shit. I don't know. There we go. Oh wow. Getting a little Dean Cornwell right now. Okay, look at that. Yeah, I love these really, you know, iridescent colors, man. I love this blue that this girl's got going on right here. Wow. It's 
crazy how he always like paints like people always like like the slight the slight green, you know? I guess I guess to help with the warmth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing we get like this uh, like a prince, you know, and her and his uh, concubines, right? And, and then this guy is like, oh, the finest um, the finest linen right here, or the finest. Uh, Carpeting that we got, dude. You know, the silk fabric. And he's like, yo, that's pretty nice, dude. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of look. He kind of looks like um. Like uh, what's his name? Fuck. Not Jamie Fox. No. Um. Cat Williams. Cat Williams. The guy. The the short guy. The comedian. Is that his name? Is that is, is it Cat Williams? He looks a little bit like him. Oh, dude, this is nice. I love, dude, I love this yellow. Right? Right here. Right here. Bro. Look at that. And it looks, I love how this, um, like, you know, the, the background, it almost looks like a, like a painting in itself, right? You know? You have like a painting here and then a painting out here, like two different paintings. Really nice. Wow. Look at these strong figures, man. Look at that strong painting, dude. Just fantastic, dude. Just really, really nice. Wow, look at this. Look at- I, I love seeing these like multi-figure very complex, a lot of shit going on types of pictures, man. Let's see. It doesn't even say what it's for, it's just editorial illustration. Look at that. Got the queen right here, dude. And uh, her, uh, her, her king or prince or some shit. Right? And then you have this cloth that comes out. It's like, you know, leads to the uh, leads your eye to the characters, right? They are the brightest, right? The, the, the brightest thing on this thing. Wow. That even, and all the characters, they, they all look at the queen, right? Everything is leading towards her. Look, look see, even this guy, he's playing his little guitar, is leading towards her, right? Pattern work. Look, look at all the stuff's going on. There's so much stuff going on, but it looks like, but it's, uh, you know, at the core, very simple, right? Like, compositionally, if you squint, right, you can see, like, right here, like, like, boom, big dark shape, right, to outline our, our character, right? Dark, right here, to, to also lead to the character, right? These shadows lead right there, right? Everything else, it's just, um, just a, kind of like a pattern, right? Like this big, giant shape right here. You know? There you go. You see that? Trace it out. Right? Light versus shadow. Very simple. Um, very effective. Again, with the light and shadow. See, you see these dark shapes, like, right here? this entire thing into him, right? So you can only see really the shirt, the, his shirt, her uh, her apron, right? So it kind of creates this pattern, you know what I mean? This light pattern. Really nice. Look at, look at the saturation of, of that floor. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, dude. Ladies Home Journal? Bro, what are these ladies looking at, dude? You know? Is this like a story of some guy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this... I think this is the same guy right here. This guy right here? And this guy right here? Yeah, there must be some kind of narrative going on, you know? Like this guy just got beat up or some shit, you know? his mother's coming in to smack him. Ah, you idiot. Damn. There we go. We have, uh, 
have a Indian woman? I don't know, I can't really, like, Latino? It's hard to tell. Her skin tone doesn't reveal much, so she's, like, kind of, like, gray, you know? I don't know. Um, not really the biggest fan of this one, right? I like this pot, though. That's a really nice pot. Yeah, not the biggest fan of this one. I'm just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna skip. Um, this one's alright. I like the composition. Uh, not really as much the, uh... Like, the colors. I don't really like the colors as much. I don't know why. Maybe there needs to need be more pink laid around, because it's pink. It's really, um... Really fighting the composition. Right? This one! Now this one is nice. Look at that. Wow, I love this like like this big shadow right here. Like a, like maybe a giant cloud coming in, right? Look at the background. It's just it's like it's so faded back, dude. And then you have the two figures right here in like enveloped in this light. Look at that. Let's see. Book illustration. Life of the downtrodden. Okay, these are the poor people right here. She's walking. She walking barefoot. I think she's walking barefoot. Right? And she's like, "Yo, can I get a ride?" He's like, he's "Like, no." Right? And she's like, "Please." And she's like, "He's like, fine, whatever." You know, he's one of those characters, right? It's like, I don't, I don't want help, dude. Because then I start, I might start caring, dude. And then she's like. But wait, dude, I'm suffering, dude. He's like, fine. And then, he's, you know, and then they, uh... And then he starts, uh, starts to uh, care, you know? Damn. Yo, is this, uh... Is that, uh, George Washington? Mr. George? Um... I like the finish. Colors, I'm questioning a little bit. You know, they're they're right on the line. You know, they're right, like I'm like it's good. Is it not good? Is it good? Is it, it's clashing. You know, mm. something something about this is like off. Maybe it's like how green this guy's coat is, right? Um, yeah. But overall, like the finish, really really nice. Yeah. Maybe it's the yellow, because there's no really, there's not really yellow anywhere else, right? Hmm. Whatever. I'm not. He's dead. You know who? What am I gonna critique? You know who's gonna who's gonna benefit from it? No one, right? Yeah. It looks really nice though. Finish wise, yeah. Color wise, eh, it's a little. It needs to be more balance, more harmony. Right. This one's fucking. This is gorgeous, dude. We got two guys, right? Is this Washington right here? Wait, no, no. They, these are these are British soldiers, right? Because they were, they were wearing red. Yeah. Look at that, dude. Just two figures, man, in a in a space, dude. With this light, just really nice. Strap was painted. Really nice. <clears throat> Here we go again. You can see this one has the more, the more outline style, right? Yeah, look, at, look at all the like they have the, the gear hung up right here. It's got a map, a war map right here. Yeah. This is cool. I like this. Um, I wish there was a better quality photo, because, again, I think the, the picture quality is holding the piece back. Right. So you can see right here, um, the the photo is really, really good, you know? Um, I, again, I think he's doing a more, like, stylistic approach for this one. Right? You can see the face, a little bit more stylized, right? Uh, but I really like that dress. I love this. 
these slabs of white and shit. God, God, God. Large brush, dude. Really nice stuff, dude. Oh! Bro. I love this guy's face, dude. I love how, like, like it's so, like, rendered but not. You can see, like, from, from afar, it's right there, but, like, when you get close, it's just like, clack, 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 clack. Oh, my God. This one's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous picture right here. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's just, whoa. And when you get close up, bro, just, wow. So nice. Clack, 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 clack. Man, I just love how opaquely these guys paint. You know, like the, the School of Dunn, right? The, like, Dean Cornwell. Uh, Saul Tepper, uh, Meet Schaefer, right? You know, Harvey himself, right? Just, like, the school of Impasto, dude. Just has this really, really nice painterly look, but it looks just so, like, from afar, it's just gorgeous, man. Right? And then when you get close, it's just even more, you know? Because everything's so abstracted. This one, um, whatever. This one, this one's nice. I like the blue of her, of her coat. Wait, look at that, look at that bush. Wow, look at those trees. Look at that pattern, right? Look at those rocks. Right, and they all just, they all cut across right here to lead to the figure right here, the focal point. Right? Beautiful. Wow. Really, really, really bold uh, light and shadow shapes right here, man. Look at this one. Another low quality picture. Um, which is a shame because I could see that this is a really nice illustration. Right. Uh, once again, using that uh, partial illustration look, right? I'm assuming there would be, you know, text accompanying it, right? So they could they could put this in different places, you know, or, or like wrap it wrap wrap it around the text or some shit, you know. Look at that. Is this like Western? You know? Maybe not. It feels me even older than that. In a couple of years, dude, this will be a hundred years old. This picture right here. All right, so we got these. Um... Oh, okay. So um, we have some some fur trappers and some uh, Native Americans, right? Yeah. The colors here are like crazy, man. These are some insane colors going on. Again, having having like a, a very like storybook feel to them. You know, maybe it's just it's the the fact that there's lines. You know, like you can see the line art. Um, really, really nice. Yeah, that that blue really like it just catches your attention. You know what I mean? I'm surprised he didn't put more like light on her, right? Is that Pocahontas? For Red Book. I don't know. You can see a detail shot. Yeah, I love that thin, that thin versus, you know, thick, you know, contrast. Really, really nice. Okay. 
editorial illustration for Ladies Home Journal. Okay. You know, this kind of looks like the, um, yeah, okay, you, did you guys ever play Resident Evil, the remake, right? The first one, right? Um, there's the picture, like, next to the clock, where it's like, one guy's getting skewered in the head, the other's getting skewered in the chest, right? Um, that reminds me of this one, right? Except it's literally the same guy. Yeah, on God. Yeah, I think it's the same guy. Looks like the same guy. They're wearing very similar things, so it's, it's hard to tell. You know, I think I think it's the same guy because he's got the little mustachio right here. Let's see right here. Really nice. Let's see. Got some kind of like party going on, a ball, right? I don't know why they have these like Chinese lanterns. Are these Chinese lanterns? They look they 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 feel Asian. But um all the people here are the the Whitman, right? I don't know, maybe it has to do something in the story, right? But looks look at that. Look at, this. Look at the way this this dress is painted, dude. Look at that chunkiness. God. Chunk, 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 dude. It's like a rock, you know? This one, okay, housekeeping. Uh, these guys are working in the print shop or newspaper. Yeah, I think it's a print room or something like that. Right, men at work. Yeah, another. I think another instance of um of uh, what do you call it? The picture quality um, getting in the way of the actual painting. Yeah, because like his face is so obscured by like the. The low quality. That's a shame. I would have liked to see like the full thing. Look at this one, dude. Oh, look at that dress, dude, bro. Look at that. Look at the foliage. Damn. Is this all, like, palette knife? Does he just do this all with a... No, there's no way. Because I can see strokes, but at the same time, I feel like he's, he's using some palette knife. Wow. Wow. Look at, you can see the, the foliage, the, um... There's like tree, you know, you know, you know when like the trees block some of the light, so you can see a little bit of light coming through right here in the background, right? I love that tree. Yeah, look at that. And then, and the, like the his suit kind of matches the tree, so he kind of becomes like part of the pattern in the back, right? You know, all to just um, what's it called? Uh, frame the woman, right? Beautiful thing. This one, I'm not too big a fan of the colors. It's it's all right. There's, I think there's, um, I don't know, maybe too much going on or too little going on. I don't know. There's, there's just something off about the colors. Yeah. Maybe because this is like purple, but like this is not purple, you know. And then this isn't purple, so it's like it's a little inconsistent, right? Yeah. Not the biggest fan of this one. But this one, bro, bro, I love this one, dude. Holy shit. Look at this composition, dude. You know, the, 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 the foreground element that frames them, right? And then in the background element that leads to them, dude, the bridge right here, okay? Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. This bridge. Holy shit, dude. 
This is, a. Uh... This is in Venice, dude. This is the same bridge. Dude, I'm lit I was literally painting this bridge. In a painting. This is in Venice, dude. Holy shit, dude. I painted this bridge, dude. I was like, I was like, you know, these, these details look really familiar, you know? And this bridge, like, the way it bows, just like the one I painted, dude. And then, like, this, the way this little thing housing is, right? And the little, little thing right here. I was like, this is literally the same thing, dude. That's fucking cool. Holy shit, dude. I can't wait to tell my friends about that, dude. That's fucking cool. Dude, 1932, dude. Wow. 2021, dude. We're painting the same shit, dude. Bro. That's fucking cool. That's, bro. That's awesome. Holy shit. And I love this painting, too. And I love this painting. Okay? Holy fuck, dude. Yeah. But look at the size of her dress, dude. Look at that. Boom, dude. Look at that white, dude. Right? Look at her face. Um... I love this, like I said, like the monochromatic, right? See, they're they're black and white, but out here it's blue, right? Kind of like creating this separation, right? But then you, all the compositions leading to her, right? And the the guy trying to be like, yo, let's let's skedaddle, dude. And he's like, these guys like, these guys look a little suspicious, you know? Not the normal couple I see. Bro, I love these water ripples too. Really fucking nice, dude. This image. This is... That's gold, bro. I mean, there you go. That's gold, dude. Alright. I'm just pointing upwards and you guys probably don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Wow. Can't believe we painted the same thing. That's fucking cool. Yeah, it, it makes sense because that bridge has been around for so long. So strong, dude. Just, God. Just these, just these straight dabs of paint, dude. Right here, God, dude. And the line right here leading to them. His compositions are always so fantastic, man. And the shapes are so strong. You know. Like I said, I think you learned that from Dean Cornwall, right? Because Dean also has a very, like, strong shape-based compositional uh, thing. You know, I, I guess that's everyone, right? You know, if you're, if you're an artist, you have to do things like that. But it's, like, I don't know, man. Just fantastic. Look at, oh, dude, look at this. Look at this, dude, with the American flag in the background. Who is this? Is that, is that Abe? Who is this? Who are these guys? Is this, um... When they when they first signed the uh, Declaration of Independence, right? That Jan John Hancock who's like, I'm gonna take up all the space, dude. Which is, I love how that's why he's famous, right? Like people don't really know John Hancock for anything else, but, but for having that giant signature and being like, Yo, I'm gonna take up the big ass space, bitch. Wow. Look at all the faces here, dude. Look at that. Oh. Look at the way he does these folds, man. Just... Wow. Wow. Alright, another... Uh... Red, white, and black, right? A monochrome... Like, the, uh... That style, dude. I really, really like it. Man, look at that composition, man. Like, like you can see the pattern of the figures, and there's like the, it kind of matches with the uh, the pattern of the uh, little um, the people as well. Like the pictures with the people, you know, it's like almost like every family member has their own little thing in the back, right? Um, and you can see there's a little bit of tension between uh, possibly father and daughter. He's like, so you've come to the table, and she's like. I've only given, I'm only giving gifts to the children. I don't care about you, father. You know? Damn. I, I really like this kind of like muted red right here. You know, that's that's really, really nice. I wish there was a high, higher quality version of this one. Because, uh, 
I like this kind of like overall shape. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Let's see. Look at these powerful strokes, dude. Just oh, oh, boom. Damn, dude. And this white right here. Man, that's really, really nice. Look at these, look at these white strokes right here. It's just like, you know, it's like, nope, like he didn't even give a shit, dude. Wow. And look, look, look how, how different these styles are, dude. He's, every piece he's doing, he's just experimenting. He's just changing it up. Um, and he, like the, like these three picks, you know, they're all done within like, let's see, is it all 1932? Yeah, they're all in the same year, right? Completely different stylistically. See, another nice one, but it's uh, it's being hampered by a low picture quality, right? That's no good. But that's but the picture itself is really nice. Again, those nice slabs of white, dude. I don't know how he does that. I think he um, he might be using a palette knife. Um. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. He probably uses some palette knife. Oh, look at that pattern, dude. Bro, I like this. I I really like this muted, like, red plus green look. It's just so, like, nice. And look at this. Look at this palm tree or this uh. I guess palm bush. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this would be. All right, but like, I like how everything is just like this square, 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 square. You know. Same thing right here on her, on her shirt. Really, really nice. Yeah, another uh thing from like uh I think she's in like they're in Panama again or some kind of foreign country. really like the colors going on here. Again, that... I love the way his strokes form the, um... the leaves right here, you know? But then if you look up close, they're just, they're just, you know, slabs of paint, just... You know what I mean? Beautiful uh, soccer cheese, even though they're not soccer cheese, coming down. All this just to frame the figures, man. You know, and like I said, he has like these this big dark shape to contrast um, the characters, and it just it just pops them out, bro. <clears throat> Here we go. This one I really like. Again, the orange and the blue. He's just using the complementaries, right? Um, I guess this is a. Detective woman, right? She's she's learning about some some dastardly deeds being done, right? <clears throat> wow, look at that! Look at that! Look at that coat, dude. That's juicy. That's fantastic, bro. I love this, and I love the blue uh, accent right here on his shirt. That's just so nice. I love the lighting. It's so like strong. Everything is so like. You know, shadow, light, shadow, light, you know? You get this kind of cool oriental background, right? That, uh, the more, the, the closer you look, it kind of just starts fading away. Beautiful. You can see right here, we're getting this really nice, dark and moody one, right? And it's like that, that, um... That's that green, or not that green, that blue color, that blue tone over everything, right? Um, 
Yeah, you can see there's a there's a big fire going on right here, right? And I guess he's uh, I guess he's like trying to stoke it with a blanket or some shit, right? But I like how the blue kind of creates this like moonlight feeling. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something about moonlight it always feels very blue, right? But it's like it's kind of just gray. Uh, but it feels blue, so it, having that blue really increases that factor. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, you know, I really like this hat plus this suit. You know, that really that creates a really nice light combo right here. You know, her dress is really nice. Um, yeah, this is a this is really because you have like the purple in the background. And then you have like the yellow of his suit right here, you know? Um, so, you, he catches your eye first, right? But then he's looking at the woman, right? And then like this light leads to the hat, leads to the woman, right? So, um, <clears throat> oh, she has, she has like the little earring as well to, to contrast the darkness right here, so. Um, your instant first read is gonna be the guy and then to the woman. Right, which I think is the actual focal point, you know what I mean? But yeah. Really, really good. Okay. Uh, we got this guy, I think, stopping maybe a bank robbery or some shit? Yeah, or basically stop stopping this guy from doing some shit. This looks like a... Like, maybe he's stealing files? I don't know. But yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice tri triangular composition. Yeah. Let's see. Another monochromatic blue one. With, uh... With a woman and, uh, her, uh... What do they call it? Her Spanish, uh... Suitor, right? Hello, ma'am. My name is Enrique. Enrique Roman. <gasps> oh! And she's like, Yeah, 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 I don't give a shit. You know, she doesn't even, like, she's not even, like, paying attention to me. She's like, Come on, come on. Wow, look at that, like, look at the power of this red, you know? And yet, like, you know, the main figures, what you pay attention to is the fact that they have this black on them, you know? Like, if everything's red, the things you'll focus on are the other color, right? Most of the time, you want to save your red for your focal point, like, you're just, like, the, the thing that you want people to see, right? But... Uh, Meet Schaefer, he's like, fuck that dude. Red everything, okay? And then, uh, black, where I want to see- where I want people's eyes to work, right? Very beautiful. Similar thing here. Oh, I love this dude. I love the- the, uh, red of the- of their, uh, their, uh, not outfits, um, uniforms. It's really gorgeous stuff. And then you see right here, um, you, you, I think you start off with this guy because you see all the detail, right? But then it leads down to the queen, okay? Right? Uh, queen Elizabeth, dude. Okay, 1934. She could have been alive, dude. This could be her, dude, you know, back then. You know, Cause, since she's an immortal. And she uh, consumes the blood of the young, right? To, to sustain herself. Much like the uh, woman in Resident Evil 8. Right? Except she's not tall as shit. I really like this, um, officer woman right here. I like her hat, you know? Really nice. I love the detail on this coat. It's just so nice. Something about officers, officers' uniforms, man, they just, they just really, really have a nice, uh, aesthetic to them. Here you can see in this one, um, Again, he's using the black, white, and red combo, right? 
Um, but this time, focusing more on the white, right? Because you can see right here, um, the officers are white, the, the girls are white, you know? Um, the butler, or the, uh, servant, he's, uh, he's in the background, literally, because he's, you know, uh, color-wise, he's blending into the background. Beautiful. What the hell's kind of, what's this background? You know, it's like the universe? Or is it like, like, simulating, like, crazy party environment? Like, I don't even know what that is. It could just be, like, a wall decal, I guess. Her Royal Highness. Ooh. The Queen, or the, I guess, Princess, maybe. Yeah. I guess she's with, like, a, a detective or some shit, and then we have the officer here, you know? He's, like, uh, trying not to look at that ass or some shit. You know, he's, like, looking down, but I, I'm, like, maybe because it's, like, you know, oh, it's the Queen, dude. I can't look at her straight in the face. Dude. I have to bow. Editorial illustration for American Magazine. This is large cut right here, and I don't know what the hell that is. Like, did they, um... Did they lose this part or some shit? You know, like, did it get burned away? Because, like, without, without this, like, the composition doesn't really work. I, know, I guess something must have happened, because, like, you can see right here, there's a clear cut. There's, like, a whole section of the painting missing. So, yeah, something could have happened. Maybe this got like torched or some shit, and they, they had to find an old image. I don't know. Looks really nice though. Let's see. <clears throat> um, is this part of the same image? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, it has to be. Why would they put them together? Yeah, we have this man. Uh, I, I assume he's uh, either dead or sobbing, and then she's just like, what the hell, dude? Yeah, this one's more of like a peach kind of tone. I mean, that's really nice. Okay. This guy looks like he like he's got to go potty, dude. He like he's like, oh, I gotta take a pee. I gotta pee. Please, Captain, please. You know, and he's like, he's like, oh, dude, I'm gonna watch him take a piss, dude. And then the captain's like, no, you're gonna hold on to that piss, dude, if your life depended on it, dude. And he's like, please, I gotta pee. I, I don't know what kind of stance this is, except I gotta pee, you know? Okay. Oh, we got a man and some women, right? And some natives right here. Again, that Dean Cornwell just slabs of paint, dude. It's just so gorgeous, dude. Oh my god. So, I like the colors here, too, you know? And, like, I love how, like, even though there's, like, you know, these, these reds here, we're really focused on this guy right here. You know? I guess just compositionally, but color-wise, um... You'd think that we'd focus on something else, right? Like the red of this dress, or the red right here, you know? But no, we- right here. This guy. I guess, the uh, composition is, uh... Will lead your eye more than color, right? Even though color is very important. Oh, look at this one. I love these little vignettes. How does he decide these shapes? You know what I mean? They're so cool, but like, how? This guy looks like Neil deGrasse Tyson, does he not? Wow. Let's see. Oh, we have a woman in jail, you know? She's telling her story to the detective, right? The young master was acting very strange that night. 
I wouldn't trust him if I were you. He's a dangerous man, officer. With high level connections. Your life could very well be in danger right at this moment, you know? And then you see the cop right there, he's like, he's like, I was hired to kill this guy, dude, you know? Boom. Oh, we have some... We have a... I'm guessing a couple fishing? Or two different people fishing? You know? This, I, I really like this muted color, dude. And like this, just this little bit of orange, you know, that slight, very muted orange to like, you know, bring things to life. It has to be the same picture because they, 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 he's using the same tone for these bushes over here. Yeah. I don't know, I really like Meat Schaefer's like muted stuff. You know what I mean? Like I really like that. Like more more than his uh his crazy color stuff, right? Like the when he's focused on like using like only like the accent colors, you know, or like the like this monochromatic, you know, or bichromatic. Um I like it more than his, like, you know, super colored work, right? Even though, like, his super colored work is good, I think I like these more, right? There's just, like, this really nice quality to them, right? Let's see. We have a man going to a woman's like, Baby, please, come back! And she's like, No! <laughs> no! And then he walks away, and then she's like, Wait. And then he turns around. He's like, maybe come back. And she's like, no. Yeah, you know the, the key and peel sketch? There we go. I just, I love this like partial composition, man. It's just, it leads the eye. It looks so cool, bro. I gotta start doing more stuff like this, dude. It, it, it not only saves time, but it looks really cool, dude. It really creates this nice effect, you know? Wow. Here you go, this one's a little bit- this one's a lot looser. Right. Uh, yeah, this is 12 by 16, so this is a small painting. But yeah, it looks- it still looks really, really cool. You can see what's going on. You know, he's- he's axing this tree. They're doing it at night, right? I guess in the near the swampland, right? But again, like you could see that he's really, really experimenting, right? Let's see. Oh, we got a Whitman, right? Uh, it looks like he just uh, woke up from his hammock, right? And he's like. Where the hell am I, dude? And then he, they have like one of their people like, here's uh, here's your water, you know, because uh, maybe they refer to him as a as a god, you know, or um, you know they're like they're like oh we, we are peaceful people, you know. You're just like what? Careful, I might blast you, dude, with my 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 metal slinger, dude. Again, really nice vignette. Really focusing on um, the uh, the dancer right here. You know, the black swan, right? Um, and I like how you could see this, and then you could see like you know through the vignette in the background that uh, maybe maybe some important characters are watching her, right? You know, but it's mainly focused on her. Really, really cool. Yeah, look at this. Look at this this overall gray composition, but then that slight bit of blue. Very, very, very slight little bit of blue brings the picture to life, dude. You know? And you know exactly what you should be focusing on. Right? I like her somber expression too. Really nice. She's like a stick dude. She's a fucking. She's skinny. Let's see. 
I really like this dark, saturated blue that he's got on this guy. Um, is this another detective thing going on? Look at all this trash, dude. Yo, I don't. I never thought trash looked so good. Yeah, I love this. Like, like the light shape that starts here goes down, right? Um, and it like passes by this dark shape and then leads to the face, right? Um, and then uh, leads to the detective right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love this like kind of composition right here where it's like. You know, you're following the light shapes right here. Really, really cool. Oh, and here's the detective man. What's he got right here? What is this? Is this a case? Yeah, you can see right here, like, the foreground is in color. The background is in that gray tone, right? Really beautiful, and it, it, it creates a nice separation between the two elements. <clears throat> Here we go, another one with that kind of like muted uh, orange, you know. Wow, it's like perfect for that brick color too. You get just a little bit on her face, a little bit in the hair, just enough. Yeah, I think this is this is where uh, Meat Schaefer really comes into his own. Like the way he treats these like you know muted color uh, paintings. That's where his that's where his gold is, bro. And I, I think I think he I think he understood that too because he starts he's starting to do it a lot more often. Let's see. Um, is this the same like night guy from before? I don't know, but look at, like, I'm telling you, dude, who would think, like, oh, dude, mint green, you know? Oh, this mint green, perfect for every tone, dude. Only Meat Schaefer, bro, okay? Only Meat Schaefer would do this, like, this muted green, like, kind of, like, gray, grayish green. It's like, oh, dude, this is perfect, you know? Wow. You don't see people use colors like this very often, you know? Something like this... Yes, you know, but like this, no, right? Because like people use the the black, white, and red combo, like that's pretty normal. That's pretty standard, right? But um, this like like offshoot green, you know, that's weird. You know, the blue, I I guess people use blue, right? But the gray, plus like the like this like light orange, you know, like that's come on. No one's doing that. This guy's hat, like, what is that? What kind of hat is that? Is that a top hat? Is that, is that a soldier's hat? You know? Like a Russian hat? I don't know. Yeah, but he's here with his, uh, his, uh, gypsy woman, right? Wow. Look at the feel of this, it's so nice. You got these, like, these, like, kind of, like, muted, uh, blues with this like kind of muted red wow wow what's with her boot dude it looks kind of like i see what's going on but it looks like armored boots you know still looking really good though oh you can see um is a color study right and then you can see the finished version right still looking really really good here this face though not very good but you know he probably had a limited amount of time he wanted to do it fast it's like oh it's a color study you know the face doesn't need to be perfect right and then boom dude the finish you know i really like this but like like if you remove this, right? Hold on, let me, let me see if I can... There. That looks really good. This, this is fantastic. I love this. You know, it's so... 
Oh, oh sorry. <clears throat> Dying. This is just wow, you know? Like kind of like muted, like like this, this uh, very uh, uh, white blue, right? Grayish blue, right? And then with these uh, large slabs of paint, that looks really gorgeous, man. And you could tell that she's like, you know, laying down crying, or she's sitting down crying. That's really nice. Except for this face, that's, that, that's working. You know, and it's a color study, you know, you don't want to focus too much on those things. Got some pirates versus some uh, versus a conquistador, right? He's like, Haha, you guys are out. We have you outnumbered, sir. He's like, uh, I am a knight of the of the first order, dude. You will not stop me, dude. Not you. Not twenty of your men, dude. Not your guns. Dude. I don't give a shit, dude. I got my armor, bro. Damn. Got, uh... hmm. What's got what is this thing? Oh, it's like a little hand warmer. Oh. Why don't they have these things anymore? I would actually really like that. Like this little like fuzzy thing that you put your hands in, you know? Um because you know my I, I have hand problems, so the, the cold really bothers my hands, so having something like that would be really nice. I really like the colors right here, you know? See, the, another case where, like, having all these crazy colors looks really, really nice. Because it's, it's, like, it's everywhere, you know? The, the color harmony is there, right? Wow. Look at that fruit bowl. Look how many- look, look at all the shit that's going on right here. That's gorgeous, dude. Wow, I wonder if you had, like, real- a real fruit bowl as a reference. Oh, bro! Look at that! Look at this paint quality. That's that's palette knife action right here. That's palette knife. That's that's the only way to get these really uh, acute lines, those really sharp lines, right? Oh, look at that! Oh, whoa, dude! Ah. Let's see. Uh, I guess we got some pirates, and he's like, he's taking the Lord, right? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna ransom you. Wow. Look at this, look at this shoulder. <laughs> Damn, dude. His strokes are so confident, man. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this guy, dude. Look out, like, he's not, like, ripped. He's, like, sinewy. He's very... He's like a skinny man, you know, kind of ripped, right? I guess, um... He's like, ah, oh, dude, I want to kill him, dude. He's like, no, dude, they're, they're just people. And they're like, no, dude, right? pitchfork. It's just like a little, you know. Wow. Let's see. Oh, another another cutoff picture you can see right here. This is the line. Um, I don't really like the colors as much in this one. Like I, th they're harmonizing. But uh, maybe if we had the whole picture, it would look, I, I, it would uh, make more sense. Yeah, because there's something, there's something off about the color distribution here. But it still looks good. The paint treatment's really nice. This one, 
Bro, this, the colors here are really nice. Yeah, and you get this nice red to focus on this one spot right here. But I love that, like, blue-green for the sky, for the sea, for the shadows, dude, for his pants. You know? Like, and the way he painted these pants, they're so... It's so thin, you know? That it kind of blends in with the, the shadow shapes and everything else. Right? Look at this guy. Look at this, like, the hat with, with his face, like, in shadow. That's so cool. Get down the stairs. He's like, he's like, oh, okay. You know, and he has like the. He's like, oh, don't shoot me. You know? Uh, Alright. I wonder how long this review is. Probably two hours now. We're, we're, we're getting through it, guys. Um. Let's see. We have this nice blue composition with this powerful white light coming through. You know, and they're like, they're like, oh, we're trying to stay hidden, right? So you can see like they're they're behind the wall, um, and you can see that the, how the light shape creates this arrow, right, that leads to the focal point, which is her, right? Because you know they're sneaking, like, don't don't let them see us, dude, right? Yeah, I like the subtlety of this nice. You know, white in shadow as well. That's really, really cool. Man. That's good stuff. She's like, I'm done with you. He's like, wait, baby, come back. Damn. I am done with your kind. I didn't mean it, babe. Oh, we got a fat captain. I like that. I like, you know, I like this guy. He's already like, huh, you know, I'm an aristocrat. You know what I mean? How dare you board my ship, you ruffians? You know, we got a little, like, these pirate guys here. I'll have you know that I'm Archduke uh, Ferdinand III, and you shall not step upon my vessel. And he's like, uh, sir, I don't think you realize the situation you are in. You, know? you have no authority, bro. Um, I, I think another picture that has suffered because of the picture quality. Again, I don't really... This one, I don't really like it. Bro. The, uh, the Arch Cardinal right here with his... The robes for days, dude. You know? And the monk, he's like... He's like whispering him like some sweet nothing. He's like, sir, the little boys are ready for you. He's like, good. Is Jimmy here today? He's still recovering, sir. I want Jimmy in there. His asshole is the is the supreme dude. Okay. Why become arch cardinal, dude? If I'm gonna get Jimmy's ass, <laughs> of course, sir. Damn. I'll, I'll apply the coconut cream. Good. He better not have a blumpkin when I get back. Of course, sir. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this one's very, like, western, you know? But I guess it's snowing. Yeah. Ma'am, is, is there a man... Is there a man in there named by... Na by the name of Willie Johnson, right? She's like, yes, he, he, he's he's uh, an ordinary fella. You here to take care of him? Ma'am, I am a bounty hunter, and I've come to take his life. Damn. Wow, look how, like, like, it's so gritty, you know? I love the grit of this painting, dude. You know, it's like if you're, you know, like when you eat something and you're at the beach, and then sometimes... Like you'll you'll get a little bit of sand in your food, you know. That's like that's like this painting right here. Like it's got like, you know, it's got a little bit of grit in it. You know? <clears throat> um, 
another uh, detective with a detective woman with Asian man in the in the picture. Oh, let me give you this tea. It will open your eyes to the world, Kwai Lo. The ruinous path is blocked to Kwai Lo's. Oh, I guess, this, yeah, this is the same woman. She's got the same face. He's like, sniffer, dude. And she's like, yo, stop sniffing me, bro. Yo, a little too close, dude. He's like, oh, I like your hair, dude. Oh, we have, um... Oh, so you know what? I think maybe the detective is actually in China, right? Because, yeah, you can see all the signs here. Um, you know, I thought this was, you know, Chinatown. You know, like, it's like an American city with a Chinatown in it. But, uh, this might be actual China. You know? That's pretty cool. Right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, before China had the... The uh, negative connotation it has now, you know what I mean? For uh, various reasons. Let's see. Now, now I'm gonna be blocked, right? Now the CCP is gonna block me. Is this guy supposed to be Asian? Cause he does not look, he does not look Chinese at all. Yeah, no, he's not, he is not Asian. He's wearing Asian garb, but his face that's not Asian at all. You should've just got an uh, Asian model, dude. But, either way, this composition looks really, really nice. Let's see, we have this, this, uh, brown painting, right? And you know what? It really creates, like, this nice, uh, effect. Um, to make it feel like, you know, something in the past, right? I don't know what's going on, but I guess uh, they've they've captured a princess or some shit, and he's like, "Hey, lady, you know, a bunch of ruffians, right?" And then she's like, "Elegant." Damn! Look at that ground. It kind of blends in with the feet too, so it's like this. I think it might be snowing, you know, because like the the way this the the thing is like coming up their boots and shit. You know, it must be snowing right now. This guy's like, oh, look at this, look at this broad over here, look at this, look at this royalty right here. You only, you only my men died because of your orders? Damn. I like this guy with the scarf. I just wanted to point that out. I don't know why, I, I really, I, I look at him a lot. going on here what are they seeing dude they're like they're like terrified like <gasps> what the hell what what is this like I see I think I see the figure of like maybe like a woman or or something dude what's going on here what is it I guess that's the point of the illustration, right? We're not, we don't know what, what they're seeing, and they're like, oh shit, dude, you know, and they're like, they're soldiers, dude, like, this is enough to make this guy drop his gun, you know? Bro. I looked at this, and I was like, oh, GTA 1860, dude, you know? Look at this guy. Like, he, he looks like, like he's a rapper, dude. He's about to, like, throw some... He's about to lay down some bars, you know? And we have, uh, the brave guy. He's like, he's like, stand back, dude. I got my sword. Or my cane. Yeah, some highwaymen right there. I don't know, I, I really got a GTA vibe out of this, you know? Like, like, oh dude, he's about to rob him, dude. But, oh, but this guy's gonna stop him, dude. But, oh, but this guy's like, oh, please stop or shoot me, you know? All right, and then like, she's like looking down and like, ugh, what kind of man is that, dude? Let's see. 
Oh, more of the detective uh, story, I guess. In the, set in the, the Chinatown or China, I don't know. Because this, this is a white guy, I'm pretty sure. So this might be just the Chinatown. Right? I guess this is the murder scene. Nope, again. Nope, nope, it's in China. Yeah, I guess they sent like a detachment to China. Right, because, um, you can see right here, all these, um, all these soldiers are Asian, so there must, she must be in their territory, you know? I don't know. There must be some kind of storyline going on throughout these, uh, these magazines. That's really cool, though. Whoa, this is some, like, Harvey Dunn color, you know, where it's like, like, some... Like, colors you would never expect to see in other places are are in there. You know, you get the this color vibration throughout the entire piece. Yeah. That's when you lay down, like, a, a base color, and then on top of it, you put another color that is basically the opposite of what you had before, right? So that creates, like, this kind of weird, like, you know, color vibration. You know, it's like, it's like, um... You know, uh, the 3D glasses with, like, the red on one side and the cyan on the other, right? And then, like, you put them together and it creates, like, this, like, ooh, you know? It's similar to that kind of effect, but, like, in paint, you know? Which is really cool, the fact that you can even do that, you know? <clears throat> Let's see. What is this? What's all this, like, junk right here? I can't really tell. Oh, you know why? Because it's cut. Again, another cut composition. Yeah, I'm like, this is like an iron pipe? Like, what the hell is this? Yeah, I like the- I like her- like, her figure, though. Like, like this nice long red dress. You know, with this, like, kind of, like, white opening for the- for the middle of the dress. And then we've got a detective here. Hey, what is this about? Really cool. I don't really like the colors in this one that much. Like the red here, it needs to be placed in other places so the color harmony is a little bit better. Yeah, not not too big of a fan of this one. Yeah, in a similar vein, you know, like like I said, um, Mead, his uh, his colors are very, um, I would say hit or miss. Right? And I think that's why he tends to stick with the monochromatic. You know? Because he uses a lot of colors, right? But sometimes, um, I feel like his balance of colors is not always the best, right? Because you can see right here, like, see, everything, I think this is all fine. Like, the red goes with the red here, you know, the green, green, you know, right? But I think there needs to be more of a yellow element, right? You know, so... Since she's the focal point, there should be yellow here, and I was I would say maybe some like yellow up here or right here, you know somewhere somewhere that's far away, you know like there's some yellow here, but it's not it's not enough to make the color harmony really sing, right? So um, yeah, I can see why he sticks more to monochromatic. You know what I mean? Uh, I like that he's experimenting though. I appreciate that. Yeah, this one's working a little bit better. I like the the, the yellow of his suit, you know. Um, but it needs to be incorporated, like the, not 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 the yellow, but like things like the, this pink right here, you know, should be like incorporated back here or somewhere, like a flower or some shit, right? Um, the green of this guy's jacket is should be placed somewhere else, right? It's just in one spot, right? But it's overall like a really good image. Yeah, you know, I really like this painting. Um, but like I said, um, some more color harmony would do it do it justice, right? Oh fuck, dude! This is one of my favorite images right here. You know, like um, look 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 at the power of this red right here. 
like you can see like first you see her face right um then you go down the line and then you see this this big red shape i'm assuming which is a either a coat or some kind of like a carpet or or something a tablecloth right and um you can see right here it leads to this foot right and like what, make, what makes you think like oh this guy's dead you know like oh shit, dude this guy just got sniped you know um but yeah i really like the treatment right here i love this like this white marble wall you know with these it's just uh, like the shadow shapes like ch -ch 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 -ch, you know really really strong stuff almost like you know film noir right bro Yeah, really, really nice. This is one of my favorites right here. I just love these swads of red. You know? Good stuff. Let's see. We got this, uh... Nope, no description. Yeah, this looks like some kind of... Like like, like the Count, right? The Count of Monte Cristo, except it's not. It's just like some... Like some Duke, some high... High authority figure. Right. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, we got some. Uh... See, this is nice. See, he's got this red background, and then the the, the figures are, are are like all blue except for like a little bit in the face with some red. You know, that's that's a lot better, right? See, this one, this one's nice. I like this one. It's just enough color, right? Yeah. There's like the blue here and the blue in the background, so it's not too bad, right? And her dress is slightly blue, right? The red here, red here, green, and then the green, it kind of matches with this here and then and in the background right here, see? That's good color harmony, right? So you could have these wild colors, it's just that you need to balance it, right? So if you, if you could bounce out the, the colors and put them in other places, the image feels a lot better, right, overall. Really nice. Oh, is this like when she finds the killer? It's like, oh, it was just this guy, dude, who works at this gas station, dude. And she's like, you know, she's like, uh... Oh, she's got something. She's got like a knife or something. She got she got something prepared. You know, like a tire iron. Yeah, because if you look closely, see there's like the rimming of the um, of the car right here, but you can also see the rimming of something else that she's holding. So it almost blends in, right? And then she's like, she's like, she's like, oh dude, I'm just pray, dude, for this for this uh, serial killer dude he's like he's coming in bro and just boom dude black with that crowbar or something Let's see. charcoal and white chalk oh, okay so this is actually something that's not uh, painted in any way still looks really nice though you can see that his uh, his quality is still is still there. Yeah, very Harvey Dunn in this one, because like look at the of the white. You know, that's that's classic Harvey Dunn, dude. Right. I like how the 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 uh, their suits kind of blend in with the backgrounds elements right here. Yeah, you know? and this kind of creates a compositional element that that leads your eye to the to the guy because. This, these dark shapes are framing his face, right? Same thing with here, except he's looking at him, so... Obviously, he's the focal point, right? Now, I like how the focal point is, like, all the way up here, right? Like, you know, everyone tells you, oh, you put on a third, right? On a third, on a third, on a third. But here, he's, like, all the way up here. I don't give a shit, dude, you know? 
and yet it's still a fantastic uh, composition. It really, really works. Let's see, we got some uh, some uh, what do we call it <clears throat> like a like an arch priest, right, going through here, right. And then we have uh, some kind of, I think we have some, some jokester or a cripple. And he's like, he's like, would you hand me some alms, me lord? You know? And he's like, ah, silly man. How dare you face me? You know what I mean? And then this guy's like, oh, such a rabble rouser. Oh. He's like, but this guy's maybe like a thief or some shit. He's going to steal from him later. I don't know. Look at the treatment right here of the cloth, right? Like you can see, like he's he's placing all these all these like you know marks right here to kind of create this like pattern, right? If you if you look far away, you can see like if you squint, it kind of creates this pattern effect, right? Without actually being a pattern, it's just a bunch of like scratches and scratches, right? But if you squint, it looks like some kind of like holy gilded pattern right here. That's really cool. That's a nice effect right there. Yeah. Wow. 1944. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting there, guys. We're almost hitting <gasps> World War II. There you go. There it is. Wait until I give the word. Uh, Mon Monahan ca uh, cautioned, cautioned them. Then fire. Careful. We'll try. We'll try and throw a, a good scare into them before they come up here. Damn. Yeah, so I'm guessing he's uh he's trying to appear as a larger force than what actually is, you know, by like firing them from a from a good position. You know what I mean? Yeah. Give me a second, I'm just gonna get some water. these big tough men dude carrying this giant thing right and you can see it's like i think it's this is like to show the types of the different types of people who who go to war right you have this young little skinny guy right he's kind of like meek right and he's like writing a note assumably to like his loved ones right and these guys are like huh what's this guy doing dude why isn't he working he's like you know dear esther you know uh, giving giving a message back. Yeah, that's cool. That's a nice contrast. Oh, so we're getting a uh, we're getting some uh, preliminary work right here. College study for editorial illustration in the Saturday Evening Post. Okay. Graphite and watercolor on board. Okay. You can see him like roughly, roughly laying it out, and then right here is the finish, which looks uh, vastly different. But I guess you know because he's using blue, he'll just like, oh, I'll just use blue here. You know? um, but damn, dude! Look at how red that hand is, dude. Look at that expression. Look, at... it's the West, you know. Your skin gets leathery in the West. The sun bakes it. Molds it into your skin until you're nothing but leather. Just like the leather you wear. Damn. Is this on? Oil here. Yeah. I'm just like, how did you get this effect right here? How would you. Oh, I guess like. Ch -ch 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 -ch, like that, I guess. Ooh, okay, we're getting some war stuff, bro. I'm excited about that. Yeah, dude, a bunch of a bunch of guys on their in their unit, right? Just hanging out. Um, is this a tank? I don't think this is a tank. This is some kind of like platform thing, right? Oh, they're they're guarding this missile silo right here. Yeah, but they're just uh, you know just having a night, looking at some old letters, right? Talking about good times in the past. Yeah. 
back at home, right? Look at this sky, dude, like, shh, 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 shh. Bro, it's almost like an aurora is it happening in the background. Dude, that's really cool, that's so nice. Wow. Here we go. We have some guys, uh, in action, dude. Go, 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 go. Ching, 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 ching. Yeah. You know, the, the, the M1 uh, Garen dude. Ping! You know, that ping. Bro. Here's a zoom in, right? You see the intensity on that guy's face, dude? You know, he's, he's, he's like, he's like, scared, thrilled, and, and like, excited at the same time, dude. You know? Damn, the heat of war. Oh, I thought there was gonna be more. Uh, this maybe, you know, there might there might still be a lot. There's there's still some pages to go, so there still might be some. <clears throat> uh, we got this woman in this blue dress. I like this. I like this blue, right? Um, the illustration overall, I'm kind of like whatever about, but the this blue tone, the color of it, I really like that. I really like this blue. Let's see. Uh, we got a woman. And she, I guess she's doing some kind of dance, right? But what is this? What is this thing? It's like a piece of paper or like a rag. Yeah. Huh. Not really too sure. But I like that dress, dude. You know? Like each stroke is like each brush stroke is uh one of the one of the folds in the dress, right? Really nice. Oh, here we go, some more war stuff. Let's see. This guy's giving uh, airplane signals. In a very cold environment. Wow. This is cool. Is this like the this like this must be like the real flag thing, you know? Wow. That's so cool. There we go. Oh, there I guess these guys are all they're all waiting for the fire. He's like, hold. Hold now! Damn! Damn! I want to. I want to see more of his war shit. There you go. We got some, uh, some uh, black ops. You know, some uh, Navy SEALs. Right? They're, they're, they've covered themselves in a in black face. Right? To to blend in with the dark. Wow. That's so cool. Dude. Oh, we got some we got some winter soldier shit, right? Not Captain America. Yeah, look, at that, look, at that. look at that ferocity dude. And the fur. He's like he looks like a lion, dude. Like you know. Ah oh, dude, these are great. How do the Germans feel now? We need a world government. Damn. Yeah, we got a we got a bomber, right? And he, these, I guess, um, these are the amount of uh, planes he shot down. The Japanese planes he shot down. Oh, this is so cool. Let's see. He's got he's. He's got all these like you know World War II gear, dude. It's so cool about the Thompson right here. I love how they always have like the real objects, you know. So you really get to see what they look like. <gasps> Christmas, 1943, dude. Spending Christmas, dude. Uh, in the war zone, dude. Damn. Remember the soldiers out there, dude, fighting for you. Wow. 
Very somber. I like that. I like this one. Oh, dude, this is so good, dude. You can see, like, you Dude, like, shit's going down. Artillery strikes, dude. And a medic, dude. He's there in the chaos of it, dude. Trying to save, save another guy's life, dude. This is the job of the medic, dude. Going into the action, dude. Trying to save as many people as possible, dude. But they know they can't, dude. Wow. Oh, and he's, dude. Look, 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 look. He has his rifle here. He plant, he's like, he's like, fuck my rifle, dude. Plants it down, dude. I need a, I need an ivy drip, dude. So he, he, he hooks it up to his gun. And then it's like, boom, right there, dude. Saving this guy, dude. In the middle of an explosion, bro. That is fucking cool. Holy shit. This is a really good one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's, bro. This is sick. Damn. <clears throat> My speed zero. The beginning of uh, Hollywood vignettes. Okay. It's 1944. Yeah, the war's still going on. I don't... So this this just must be like a thing inside, you know, inside of the actual magazine. Yeah, that's what I'm not too wild about. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the periscope design. And you have the guy right here. Now we can lick Typhus. Okay. Yeah, I guess Typhus was a problem back then. Right? Here we go, these guys. Oh, they're, they're, they're calling in a strike position, you know? Like, 45, 68, 22! I need, I need an artillery strike right here! You, 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 ow! Ow! Uh, warning! Danger close! Danger close! Damn! He's got a little bit of brush on his helmet, so... To keep him hidden, or maybe he, he fell somewhere and he just hasn't had time to take it off. Why do they have these fucking little stamps here to cover this shit, dude? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, dude, we got this guy coming in on a on a on a tank or some shit or a heavy vehicle. You know? Oh, dude, the boys are here, dude. You no, know? damn. Backup, backup has arrived. Japan digs in to die. Damn. Edgar Snow's reports on Germany's worst crime. Alright, so you could see, um... Later on, I guess he's doing a lot of Saturday evening posts, right? Um... Oh, wow, these are really, really complicated drawings right here. Yeah, these are nice. Preliminary painting, okay. Yeah, these are very, like, complicated... Uh... Graphite pictures, or graphite, uh, drawings. Wow. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at this winter wonderland, dude. You know? And it's just like, you know, the, the, the family going out. Look at all these colors in the trees. This one's really nice. I like this. Yeah. Wow. Look at look 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 at the way the light falls through like this top portion right here. That's really nice. Oh, look at these like look at these oil workers, dude. You ever okay, do you guys ever seen those YouTube videos of these oil workers and like they put like the chain around the thing and then like it like spins it? And then, like, they take it out, and then they drop, put another one, spin it again. That, like, that looks so fucking intense, dude. Like, what if that chain, like, whipped on you, dude? That shit would fuck you up hard. You know? It's crazy, man. But, like, look at these guys at work, dude. It takes three guys to, like, spin this shit. You know? Wow. It's so badass, dude. Yeah, dude, I work on oil. No. Watch out, dude. You might get hit, hit, hit by the tr chain. You, tr ah, you know, fuck, dude. Like, that's like heavy machinery. 
You know what I mean? That's some heavy shit, bro. There we go. Okay, so we got oh, we got some some fishermen uh, getting some shrimp, right? Yeah, those are shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, those are crawfish. Shrimp or crawfish, one of those. All right, we got a guy who's working on the power lines, right? He's got to have all this climbing gear. Yeah, some a fisherman. Oh, and he's uh, he's fixing his, one of his flies, right? Or he got a dragonfly, and then he's like, he's using it as bait. Yeah. What makes a Hollywood communist? Damn. We don't want that, do we? Look at all these kids, dude. They're, they're having a swim, you know, by the river, right? This one just leapt off, right? The finish is a lot different. This one's more, uh, I don't know. It's a lot different than what he usually does. Oh! And, uh, that's it, dude. That is the life and art of Meat Shaper. Wow. Okay, it's the author. Okay, boom, and then we finish off <clears throat> on this nice image right here, All right? So, uh, you know, as you can tell by the length of this video, this is a this is a big boy. Okay, this is a long video, right? Um, and this is a pretty big book. Let's see, there's uh, how many pages here? 224, basically 225 maybe total. Um, filled with art book, right? Or sorry, filled with artwork. Really, really nice. You know, I love this back cover. This is one of my favorite images too, right? So, um, yeah, let's just let's just flip this into the review portion. All right, guys, let us enter the review portion for the life and art of Meat Schaefer, right? Um, you guys saw it, dude. It's a really fantastic book. Um, the Illustrated Press always does a fine job. It's very comprehensive, right? You're basically, you're basically, ugh. Jeez, I don't know why I can't talk today. My mouth is really dry, probably. Um, you get the life and times of a, uh, you, sorry, you get a lifetime's worth of work for each artist that you get for these books, right? Um, it's very comprehensive. Um, you know, if there's pieces missing, it's very, very few, right? They're, it's very high quality book. And um, these are limited, dude. These are limited. Um, I think this book, there was only 900 copies made, right? And um, unfortunately, at this point, um, it's it's become rare and now they're the prices are starting to jack up right so normally it costs $45 um, but I was recently looking at the Stuart NG shop and it is now uh, $75 for a copy right these books always fantastic man the the quality of it is just so good you don't get books like this very often right and when they're out of print dude they're rare and they're expensive right so uh, you know, if you can find this book for a good price, I really recommend you guys check it out, right? Um, I really recommend you guys check out Beat Schaefer in general. His artwork, fantastic, right? His name, not really known, right? But he, uh, you know, he was like basically best friends with Norman Rockwell, right? They painted with each other for years, right? They helped each other make, like, like uh, start a whole new project, right? Um, so yeah, uh, Meet Schaefer, uh, totally, an artist totally worth your time. You can see right here, his artwork is fantastic, right? He does a really good job. Um, yeah. And I really enjoyed this art book, man. Totally worth it, worth the price. If it's even priced up more, right? Uh, I'd still recommend getting it because these books, they're rare, they're fantastic, right? I've, I've purchased, you know, um, the, the Illustrated Press books for like way higher than uh, their base price are, right? Um, and I'm always satisfied, you know, because like these books, they're they're treasure. Okay, um, I got I recently got the Saul Tepper or the Art of Saul Tepper book, right? Um, I'll be doing a review of that soon, right? Maybe not right away because we're I want to space these out. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys don't know about the Illustrated Press, 
check them out, right? They really do. They really do a fantastic job with their art books, right? Um, and they really pay great homage um, to these artists. And there's not that much information out out there, right? So they collect the information that they can and they put it into the book. Um, so not only do you get a really great artistic experience, um, you also get like to know like a little bit of history, right, about the artist, about their path, right, what they did in their life, right. Um, and how they got to there. So, for an artist, um, these books are uh, priceless, man. Priceless, really. Um, yep. Really hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the art of Meet Schaefer, right? Uh, check them out, you know? Uh, please, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, what do you call it? Uh, leave a comment. Tell me how you guys feel about uh, Meet Schaefer's artwork, right? Um, ring that bell for notification. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.